This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. All right, we'll start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Kakudash. Double honors to our elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, love, and salutations to the elect, the hopeful elect, the house of David. All right. Uh, this is Habakkuk chapter 2. All right, starting at verse 1. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Right, man. So this gospel, all right, has, you know, and still is, you know, um, being preached in all the world. All right. For a witness. All right. And uh, that's unto all nations. All right. But specifically, the reason why. All right. Is, uh, you know, as it says in Tobit, you know, because we've been scattered. All right. Um, matter of fact, let me just get that. Um, let me see. I'll just type in Gentiles and it should show up in Tobit. Uh, here we go. Tobit 13 and 3, confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, or Yasharala, for he hath scattered us among them, right? So that's the reason why, you know, this word is preached, all right, uh, you know, unto the nations, all right, is to seal the elect, all right, to gather those, all right, who are uh, currently in a Gentile state of mind, all right, and to bring them back, okay? Um, and ultimately, you know, as we just read in Habakkuk, all right, as it says, that he may run that readeth it. All right, run what? All right, run this race. You know, be diligent, you know, to make our calling and election sure, to rehearse the righteous acts, all of those things. All right, but the point that I wanted to gather was in verse 3 for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry. Wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. All right, and, um, you know, I just saw that world war is trending. All right, so over 150,000 uh, different individuals, you know, or accounts are basically discussing, you know, world war. All right, and that's basically because you have Zelensky, who, if you aren't familiar with Zelensky, he's actually a small hat. All right, he actually, um, matter of fact, let me see if I could pull it back up. All right, he's a small hat, man. All right, this is the Atlantic, how Zelensky gave the world a, you know, hero. All right. And you see the word there. All right. As the Ukrainian president captivates the world with his bravery, he offers a reminder of the inroads Eastern and Central European small hats have made in overcoming their status as perpetual outsiders. All right. Because we know he's not, um, you know, an, an Israelite. All right. And, uh, you know, basically, you know, just through the spirit, man. All right. They're pushing for this, you know, because they know that their time is short. But what they're trying to do is, you know, ultimately implement that great reset. All right. That's why it says, you know, for when they shall say peace and safety. All right. Because ultimately they're pushing, you know, this fear mongering, you know, this propaganda will. All right. And then basically, you know, they're going to implement this this new standard. You know, they're going to say it's peace, you know, among the nations now, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then all hell is going to be breaking loose, man. All right. And uh, even up until that time. You know, hell is going to be breaking loose because judgment still goes out, you know, every morning, man. All right. As the scripture says, you know, so um, I just wanted to share that, man, you know, because as we just read. All right. In Habakkuk. All right. It's for an appointed time. All right. So even though, you know, you're trying to push that vibration, you know, even though you have, you know, everybody scared then you know, talking about it. All right. Which you should be very fearful. All right. Because your judgment is close. All right. But at the end of the day. You know, that time is not yet. All right. The appointed time has not been met. All right. But uh, it, it's going to, you know, it's coming. All right. And uh, as you can see here, uh, he said, I'm ready for negotiations with Putin. But if they fail, it could mean World War Three. All right. Well, yeah, at the end of the day, man, you know, you're just a small hat. All right. You're just a small pawn. All right. A peon in this whole story. All right. And, uh, you know, you 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 small hats, man, you're, you're going to get your destruction, man. All right. And it's going to be seen. All right. It doesn't matter what your negotiations are with Russia, man. All right. Ukraine uh, is not important, you know, when it comes to the destruction of America. All right. These, uh, you know, that that will start with the North country. All right. Being Russia. 
All right. And then you have Iran who's going to be joined in. You know, you have these other nations, um, you know, that are going to join in with them. All right. But you're not a major player, man. All right. The FJs, you know, the small hats, they're just using. All right. Ukraine. All right. That's why you also uh, have trending. Uh, let me see if you're Biden crime family. All right. Because basically information has begun to come out, you know, about certain things that they said was conspiracies before. All right. And, uh, you know, basically Esau is being exposed, you know, on all, all sides, man. All right. You got books being written. You know, um, you got, you know, articles coming out. You got journalists, you know, asking questions. And then, of course, um, you know, the, the press secretary and all that, you know, I think we're done here. And, bro, this whole place is done, man. You know, but the point is, all right, these things that are being talked about in the mainstream media, you know, that's for us. You know, that's for us to see, you know, as an indicator and a, a, a faith booster, you know, to uh, reaffirm that we are definitely in those times, man. All right. But the act itself you know, the, the, the third woe itself is for an appointed time. All right. So they're just, you know, doing what they have to do, you know, as small hats. All right. As the wicked, you know, to implement. All right. The same way they have their their former, you know, warlocks. All right. Going and, you know, pushing that same enchantment. You know, that's why scripture says stand now with thine enchantments. Right. And this is one of their enchantments. That's why you see uh, blue and yellow everywhere. That's why you see hashtag Ukraine everywhere. Um, hashtag stand with Ukraine, all of that. That's part of the, the enchantments, man. That's part of that, um, you know, that way to basically get you out of, and let me just pull it up. So lock you the etymology real quick. All right. That's part of to, to get you distracted. All right. From all the wickedness they've done with this uh, pandemic. All right. From all the draconian measures that they have pushed. All right. Um, this is just, as it says, an act of magic or witchcraft, all right, to bewitch or charm, all right? And, uh, you know, part of that is, of course, enchanter, all right? Because when you go into that word, the serpent, all right, back in Genesis, it goes into an enchanter, you know, the witch, the, the sorcerer, basically being Esau, all right? He's doing the same thing. He's bewitching you, all right? He's got you wrapped up in, oh, my gosh, world war. We have to stop Russia and all this, you see? That's part of that enchantment. You know, we have to hashtag Ukraine, hashtag stand with Ukraine. We have to put blue and yellow on our doorposts and all this nonsense. All right. But guess what? It's for an appointed time. All right. You see that? And this is just all through the spirit, man. All right. You see? This is all through the spirit, man. It's, it's all categorized, man. All right. So um, not categorized. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm, I'm looking for? Um. Salakia, the, the name just escaped me. All right. But um, uh, calculated Salakia, not categorized. It's all calculated, you know, so everything that's going on now is just to get the people into the system. All right. You know, because at the end of the day, this great reset has to take place. All right. So in order to do that, you have to instill fear in the people. All right. And not fear of Yahweh Basham Yahweh You have to instill the fear of man. You know, oh, my God, Russia is a big threat, you know, and this is that, you know. And, um, you know, that's the point. All right. Um, you know, that's why they have all this, you know, back and forth going on for, um, you know, months they were saying, you know, Russia invaded, you know, Ukraine and this is that. And then, uh, you know, all of a sudden, you know, there were articles talking about, uh, you know, Russia is waiting to push further into, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then now it's back to Russia has fully invaded you. You know what I mean? So you could just tell, man. All right. It's just a whole bunch of back and forth, man. It's just a smoke screen, you know, so don't get too excited. All right. The third woe is definitely coming, man. All right. But that, that that's not right now. You know, this is just part of those FJs, those those rats, you know, to implement and further push draconian measures throughout all of their nations, you know, to basically, uh, you know, lay the stage for this great reset. That's why you have Ukraine that has been a big playing field for the past like 15 years now. All right. If you actually go into the history of Ukraine, a lot of politicians, a lot of world leaders, a lot has been going on in Ukraine, man. All right. It's basically like a little whore. You know, it's like Babylon's little whore, man. All right. They've been doing a lot of things down there. All right. And ultimately now part of that final act. All right. Is, uh, you know, this guy, man. All right. 
part of this guy playing his role. All right, that's why you have. All right, let me see if I can find it. All right, that's why you have him. All right, previously uh, dancing. All you know, right, and doing uh, you know, doing his ritual. All right, let me see if I can find it. If I can't, then it's okay. There it is. This is him. All right, that's him doing his ritual. You know, before he came into power, man. All right. Now, this video wasn't actually played by to Congress. All right. But this is basically, you know, them showing, you know, because he was actually speaking to Congress. All right. And you see that, man, that's part of his ritual, you know, hills and all types of just, hey, man, it's wicked, man. All right. Um, and, you know, they actually got people, you know, going into calling him a war criminal, you know, basically showing how the, the propaganda machine, you know, is, is going off. You see? See that, man? People calling this guy heroes, turning my stomach, do some effing research. He is an actor who became a, a political puppet. Right, man. You see? Zelensky. All right. With the, you know, the, um, you know, Nazi and all that, you know, that fur further, you know, supremacy mindset. All right. That's why scripture says, um, you know, that they desire uh, that their houses. Uh, where is this? Uh, I think it's here. Is this it? No, that's not it. Uh, that their houses should remain forever. Bear with me. I'm trying to find. I took a screenshot of it. I thought. Mm. Man, let me see. Uh, hey, here's a good one. <laughs> Iraq, Libya, Syria, Vietnam, Afghanistan. You see? Russian man bad, you see? But you got all this blood on your hands, man. All right. Oh, here we go. All right. So this is, you know, the 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 puppet. All right. You see the symbolism right there. All right. You see it right in between, you know, his, uh, you know, the crest or whatever. All right. And, uh, you know, you can see this is, you know, what it goes back to, that Nazi, that supremacy. And then the symbol itself goes back to who? The small hats, man. All right. And we know exactly who they are. You see, it's the same thing. All right. And uh, as it goes, this is a coat of arms and crest for Ukraine with the symbolism of the. So, you know, what I mean, boom, bam, the ancient homeland of blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is biblical. This is a biblical destruction of the. Well, you know, they don't know what they're talking about there, but this is just, um, you know, the implementation of the, the new world standard, which they're desiring to push forth. All right. And uh, he actually goes into it. The article here on the right is from the Times of Israel, Salakia. If this damn phone will just zoom in. All right. Uh, Zelensky added that Ukrainian immigrants were among Israel's founders who brought with them their history and their desire to build a great country as it is now. So it's not bad at all for us to have such a mediation. You see, because they, they, they're they FJs, man. This is what they do. They're small hats. All right. You can see the symbolism. All right. It's right there, man. It ain't hard to see. You see, that's that's part of his ritual process. All right. So, you know, at the end of the day, man, you know, it's for an appointed time. All right. These enchantments, you know, they're going to be broken down, man. All right. And, uh, you know, that's going to come by way of the destruction. All right. That Yahweh Shai. All right. By uh, way of the chariots and also the nukes, you know, it's going to destroy this place. All right. And it's going to be destruction in these other places as well, man. All right. And these damn FJs, man. All right, along with the rest of these peon, you know, elites, man, they're, they're going to be rounded up, man. So, um, you know, that's all I wanted to grab, man, through the spirit. You know, it's a lot of wickedness being pushed out there. All right. Um, you know, but it's a at the point of time, you know, it's, it's just not yet. All right. They're, they're trying to uh, make things their time. All right. Um, let me see here. Where do I have it at? Flat top griddle. I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, Habakkuk. Salakia. <clears throat> you know, that's another thing, man. You know, these mobile devices, they're great, man. But you could get damn ads on here. You know how, like, ads pop up. You know, you'll get uh, damn ads popping up just by trying to search something, man. It's ridiculous. Uh, Habakkuk chapter 2, all right, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. 
but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry, right, man? So, you know, all these enchantments and all this, you know, demonic, all right, uh, witchcraft that they're doing, all right, that's all right, you know, keep doing what you have to do, man, all right, but the prophecy is still going to occur, the destruction is still going to occur, all right, the, uh, you know, the coming judgment, all right, all of these things are still going to occur, all right, it has nothing to do with, you know, whether y'all peace talks go accordingly, all right, it's, it's going to occur, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man, all right, so, you know, you see it, man, you know, it's plain, man, you know, they say make it plain upon tables, all right, and um, yeah, that's it, you know, so Lord's will use other five in closing. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rechakwadash. That will honor us to our elders and apostles, great millstone, do teach and rule well. Tell us this is 100% truth. Peace, love, and salutations to the hopeful elect, the house of David. Until the next time.